I have to go to another prison. Like this is the Radisson and you don't like your room? Sometimes in the morning I am petrified. I have been felt up, stalked, and called Taylor Swift. So can you please just cut me some slack? ¿Qué pasa? ¿Cómo estás, mi gente? I am Zay Zay. Welcome to another banging interview. Today, I get the privilege and honor. It's Netflix Day. You guys already know. I'm hanging out with two of the illustrious magnanimous stars of the <laughs> Netflix original series, Orange is a New Black. It's Leah Delaria. It's Danielle Brooks. Show them some love, guys. We showing love. you love. That Look at this. Was bomb. Look at this. Was bomb. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you very much. You know, I gotta ask, because it's such kind of a phenomenon, really. Why is Orange is a New Black so hot? Like, why do people love and gravitate towards it? I think it's, I, I'm sorry. No, do you want, I, I'm, I'll, I'm, you know, we're going to both have something yeah. to say there about this. Um, I think personally, it's because people are so unused to seeing them, themselves, on television. Uh, and here's a television show that has a lot of women, a, a, a lot of uh, different races, a lot of different genders, a lot of different, um, you know, LBG ages, yeah. ages yes, yes. all of that. Um, coming together. I mean, so much of television is kind of the, you know, the white guy thing. So it's really, I think people are really excited to see themselves. I think they've been wanting it for a long time and here it finally is and they're just gravitating towards it. Holding up a mirror to the masses, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that for me, I think is the number one reason. But I also think it's because we're stepping in a world that nobody really knows too much about, but we're all connected to in some way. In some way, you know somebody that's incarcerated, you know? And so I feel like you're getting this insight into this world that you have never experienced and you kind of hope you never do get to experience, yeah, yeah, right. you know what I mean? <laughs> right, right. But that is so relatable because at the end of the day, it's about the core of the human person, the human being. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, and I've said before, you know, we're stripped of the hair and the makeup. We're, we're all in the same jumpsuits and you have to connect to the core of the person. Mm. And I feel like, like Leah said, you see yourself in these people. So I think that's why people like our show. Like and the it. writing is bomb. The, the, the writing, writing is great. The directing's great. Of course. You know, all of it. The, uh, the cast is, yeah. what kind of, we have a great cast, yeah. you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. so when all that stuff comes together, it's compelling. You want to yeah. watch it. It's magic. It's yeah. magic. Yeah. I'm scared that I'm not myself in here, and I'm scared that I am. Nobody's gonna hit you harder than life. Not a guard, not a gangster, not even your wife. And I was doing a whole bunch, I mean, I didn't have to do that much, but I was doing a whole bunch of research trying to make sure that I'm ready to do my homework and all that good stuff. You're like a renaissance artist. <laughs> you do, I mean, we're talking about writer, we're talking about stage, we're talking about acting, we're talking about music, we're talking about art. Is acting really just the latest incarnation, or is this like really where you're at, now, where I've you been are acting, now? I, uh, I've had my SAG card since '93, and uh, I like in the '90s I was on pretty much every sitcom that there was, and okay. uh, you know that went from there, and that brought me to the Broadway stage um, because I also sing, so I've got the lead in Shakespeare in the Park in like '97, and uh, real act, quick, just... acting to me is the one thing that I feel I'm the worst at. And uh, I, yeah, see, and then people look at me like that when I say it. But that's probably my own insecurity. Hard sure. to believe when you look at this handsome sure, face. There it is. Insecurity. But, oh, yeah, it is. Uh, that's <laughs> probably my own insecurity. And the more, and like, you know, receiving things like a SAG award makes me think, maybe I really can act. Maybe you can. Maybe I really can. And you, of course... Juilliard, oh, Shakespeare, all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. Is it really kind of like, is that a prerequisite that you have to be great at like stage yeah. and to get on the show? I, I think, you know, Gingy decided to not cast this in LA. She did, decided to cast this in New York. So mm -hmm. you're gonna get a lot of people that you are? are, you know, born and bred that theater. Yeah, we yeah, are, yeah. you know, theater kids, you know, yeah. there's a lot of us, but Listening to this, I just hope that half of my career is like hers. You know, it's yeah, right. True. Mine too. Shoot, you know, I got, done a lot. I got a lot. lot to, I got a long know? way to go. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs>
That's all right. I'm You've done a lot. It's okay. You've done a lot. You've done a lot. <laughs> guys, I appreciate your time. They're wrapping me up. I wish I could spend the day with you guys. We should. One we day, let's just, just go. Let's, just let's go hang out. Let's go have some brunch, lo lollipop, something. We do as something. As long as there's tequila, I'm happy. <laughs> That's easy. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, guys. I appreciate thank it. You. Thank, thank you. Thank you. I'm nothing like any of these women. I am no different from anybody else in here. I committed a crime. Being in here is no one's fault but my own.